Hello and welcome to Ask the Gov. Let's begin. Our first question comes from Henry in Cresco via email. Henry asks, as a whole, I like your education blueprint. Do you see it having trouble passing the legislature? Well, it's too early to predict that uh, because the legislature doesn't convene till January. But we've tried to go about this in a very thoughtful and systematic way. We had an education summit last summer attended by over 1,600 people. The lieutenant governor and I are in the process of working with our director of education, Jason Glass, and Linda Fandel, our education assistant on the governor's staff, to hold town meetings all across the state and get input from citizens, educators, administrators, parents, business people, and we're finding a good response. I think there's a real interest in reforming and improving Iowa's education, focusing on how we can have a great teacher in every classroom, a great principal in every building, how we can uh, expect higher achievement from students and measure their progress to achieving uh, higher expectations and making sure that we encourage innovative thinking and motivate our students uh, by using the technology and the other opportunities that are out there. I'm very hopeful that we can see this systemic, uh, re that this systemic reform to improve education approved. We also know that it's not just the action of one legislative session, but we're going to need to have a really a long-term commitment to improving education, and we need to uh, make sure that we stick with it for the long term. Our goal is to go from middle of the pack to best in America in education and world-class competitive in student achievement within the next 10 years. The second question comes from Colby Dre from Sioux City via Facebook. Colby asks, will you support a repeal of the smoking ban that has taken choice away from private business owners and made the impact of the recession much more severe for many bar and restaurant owners? Actually, Iowa's Clean Indoor Air Act has been well accepted in our state, and we have a goal of making Iowa the healthiest state in the nation. So I think it would be a mistake to go back and repeal the law that we have on the books that's helped many people quit smoking. We know that tobacco use is very detrimental to one's health, and I believe that the state of Iowa should continue to be at the forefront of encouraging healthy behavior and uh, we have set a very ambitious goal of being the healthiest state in the nation, and uh, in light of that, I think it would be a mistake to repeal that law, which has been well accepted in our state now for several years. Our third question comes from Kenneth in Marion via email. Kenneth asks, what progress is being made in creating jobs? Well, I'm very proud to say that we are making significant progress. Just this week, CJ, a Korean company, announced they're going to invest over $320 million, creating 180 great jobs in Fort Dodge. They'll co-locate next to Cargill. It's going to be a whole new biosciences complex. It'll be very good paying jobs there, very similar to the bioscience complex that we already have in Eddyville that employs over 700 people. We have had a number of other bioscience uh, companies announce uh, uh, locating in Iowa. Locations include places like Osage and, uh, uh, and also in um, uh, Northwest Iowa at Sioux Center. Uh, we are continuing to work to bring more industry and business to our state. Uh, Alcoa is going to be uh, expanding their operation in, in uh, Davenport that already employs 2,000 people. John Deere is hiring people. So is uh, Bridgestone. Uh, we're working to reduce the, the commercial and corporate income tax to make Iowa more competitive to attract more business and jobs, as well as reducing some of the regulatory burdens that have been an impediment on businesses choosing Iowa. I'm excited about the progress that's been made. Our new partnership for economic progress is just taking shape. Uh, we've, I've just recently made appointments to that board, and we think October may be our best month yet in terms of job creation. So we have a long ways to go, but I think we're making great progress and the Lieutenant Governor and I, Debbie Durham, and the whole economic development team is working very hard every day to bring great jobs to Iowa.
Thank you.